What is going on to all my movie fans and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you all my thoughts of the brand new comedy horror coming to Amazon Prime on October 6th by the name of Totally Killer. Now as a fan of horror, I'm always down to talk horror with you all, but also slasher, which is my favorite subgenre in the horror realm. So the question is, is this worth checking out? We'll be discussing that and so much more in today's spoiler free review. But first, let's talk in the comments. Let me know if this is a film you are excited to check out. And of course, once you watch it, would you you all think what worked what didn't work did you enjoy the characters the story the comedy the kills were you disappointed by the film but also if you are a horror fan like myself name your top three slashers of all time in the comments below and let's have some fun down there so i'm going to start off by saying this might come off negative but it's going to turn into a positive the first 10 to 15 minutes of this film i'm thinking to myself yeah, I've seen this before. This is going to be generic, stereotypical. I know exactly how this is going to play out. But then something happens. We get the very first kill. And as a fan of horror, I always say to myself, I judge a horror film based on the kill. The first kill of the film. Now, the first kill, I didn't see the trailer. I didn't know much about the premise because, again, horror fan, slasher. Sign me up. I don't need to see anything. I like the talent behind it. So I went into this pretty cold. So I didn't expect that first kill to happen and how this film plays out. So it definitely caught me off guard. But at that point and on, I was on board with this film. First off, addressing the elephant in the room that yes, this film is very self-aware of the tropes and the similarities it shares with films such as Back to the Future meets Scream meets Happy Death Day. But for my horror slasher comedy fans out there, this film came out, I want to say, man, almost 10 years ago, maybe 2015. It's called The Final Girls, which is, I only saw it once, but I enjoyed it. This movie and The Final Girl shares a very similar storyline, but at the end of the day, I still found this movie to be its own thing. I still had fun with it. It's very charming, and comedy is very subjective, and I do think the comedy outweighs the horror and slasher, and we'll talk about that later, but when it comes to the comedy in this film, man, I had some good laughs. Like I was just having such a good time with these characters, with this situation, being, if you're not familiar with it, we have our main character, Jamie, who something happens to a mother in the future, who is a mother that survived these serial killers or these serial killings in the 80s and somehow that killer has made it to the future 30 years later and now we have our character Jamie has to go back in the past to save her mom. It's a lot of stuff going on but the comedy and playing in the 80s had me dying laughing. One of the standout moments for me was the setting of the 80s and having our main character Jamie being kind of a fish out of water and acknowledging all the issues of how people acted and how they were, weren't were politically correct and how they would say things to one another. I was just laughing at all the tropes, all the jokes. Again, some of them were funnier than others, but for the most part, I was laughing throughout this entire film. Now, speaking of Jamie, Karen Shipka carries the laughs and carries the emotional beats so well. She was such a great lead in this film, and I love just seeing her trying to save her mom based on what happens in the future and her working with her mother in the past which her mother in the future in the past are two different people like her mom was a bit of a mean person in the past but the chemistry they have was so good and the actress that played the younger version of the mom I believe her name is Olivia Hulk she was so great I love the back and forth with them and that really is the heart of the story is the kind of being the daughter being the mother to the mom and how all that plays out was really a standout for me honestly i enjoy most of the supporting characters like the adult versions and pairing them up with the younger versions kind of like that it chapter one versus chapter two discussion but obviously taking a lighter approach to it to the storytelling i thought the entire cast just really came together and i really had a good time with them and again just kind of putting an emphasis on the things that really stood out to me in the comedy beats and just touching a little bit more on that relationship between the mother and the daughter when we see jamie interacting with her younger mother who again is a much different version than her older self and having her mom trying to number one keep her mom safe but also trying to mother her like don't do drugs don't drink alcohol don't hook up with dad before you're supposed to because i might not exist in reality all those beats really worked for me which also to that note speaking to the time travel of this film because it is a science fiction horror slasher time travel element i will say that i think it was handled pretty well because it doesn't take itself too seriously it's not too messy or confusing there's no crazy scene scenes of exposition they're just having fun with using science fiction like for the simple fact that the time machine is created in this kind of like a, a science fair and everyone's just kind of taking you know 
know, time travel on face value to me was just like, this is perfect. Like, we don't need a bunch of exposition explaining X, Y, Z and, you know, quantum this and all. It, it has fun with the trope and I had a good time with that element. Now, this film was imperfect. It does have its criticism that I'm going to let y'all know about. Now, as I mentioned, and I said it a couple times at this point, but let's dive into it. Had a good time with the comedy, really enjoyed these characters, but the horror fan in me, the slasher fan in me, I gotta admit from my personal taste, the slasher which went by the name of the Sweet 16 slasher, I wasn't a fan. I personally thought that now while the, they call this killer the, you know, the Sweet 16 slasher, they kill, they stab their victim 16 times, which is cruel and very vicious and brutal, but they, you know, this is the horror in me, this is the fan in me, Go darker, get bloodier, get gorier. I wish it was more creative when it came to the kills, but also when it comes to the killer, because there is a mysterious element of like, who's the killer? The reveal and the motivations and the actual killer, very underwhelming and pretty disappointing if I'm being honest with you all. But also another thing that didn't work for me entirely, I talked about the relationship between Jamie and her mother and how I like the younger version of the character interacting with their daughter that they don't know is their daughter, but I didn't like the fact that we didn't spend that much time with the older mother, right? The future mother. I wish they would have spent maybe five, 10 minutes to kind of really flesh out. They didn't really get along and more so on the daughter's part, right? Jamie and not really being the fan of her mom and obviously kind of appreciating her as she interacts with her with her younger self. But I wish they would have fleshed out the future version more to make it more impactful to what happens to the mom. I just wish it was a little bit more time developing that relationship, but those are really only my criticisms. So before I give you all my overall score and let you know if it's worth checking out, if you stuck around to this point in the review, I just wanna take the time to thank you. I appreciate you. Yes, you right there. Just a reminder, if you're having a good time to like this video, share the video, leave your thoughts in the comments, and of course, consider subscribing to the channel. Overall, Totally Killer is a fun time travel slasher comedy that just hits all the right beats for me. It has likable characters, it never takes itself too seriously, it has these quick, fun, hilarious moments paired with a great flow to the pacing. It's not concerned with reinventing the wheel, instead it uses the 80s in this time period to poke fun of it and delivers a fun ride that had and will have you smiling from ear to ear from beginning to the end. I'm gonna give Totally Killer a 3.8 out of 5. I plan on revisiting this uh, a couple more times, especially when it drops again on October 6th. I had fun. I had some really good laughs. I like these characters and again, I wish there was more slashers, more creative kills, but overall, I had a fun time with it. But hey, it's your turn to let me know if you are seeing this, obviously, before the film comes out. Are you excited to see it based on my review? And of course, once you've seen it, let me know your pros, your cons, your favorite characters, your favorite moments. Did you like the kills? If so, did you have a favorite kill? I personally did it because they were all kind of the same. Again, creative kills would have been a little bit better, but let me know your thoughts on that. And of course, share your top three, top five slashes of all time. Let's have some fun in the comments below. Before before we wrap this thing up again, again, thank you for watching today's video. Just a reminder to like, share, leave your thoughts in the comments, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell and help me get to my next milestone of 60,000 subscribers. I would appreciate it. You all are awesome. Hope you're staying safe and I'll catch you all on the next video.